everyone, it's Joanne here with a work in progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul. I don't have a whole lot to show you today because this past week has just been absolutely crazy and uh, I was hemorrhaging money as I call it. Uh, last Saturday, uh, one of my dogs, Charlotte, she had a growth on the back of her leg and it ruptured and I ended up having to take her to the emergency vet and then she subsequently had surgery on, let's say I took her to the, her regular vet on Wednesday and he said we're taking the thing off tomorrow. So she had a surgery on Thursday to remove that growth as well as two others the one on her back leg that ruptured, we are sending off to pathology. And uh, I should have those results back this week. So if you are so inclined, I would love some good positive thoughts coming her way and some uh, puppy prayers. She is doing really, really well though. She is uh, quite the tough old lady. <laughs> and then on top of that, I had to have some major work done on my truck, uh, new brake pads, rotors, uh, alignment, uh, oil change. It was just crazy. So money this week has been a little bit tight, but I did manage to get a few things that I'm pretty happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, showing those to you. At Goodwill, I only spent a total of $3.20, which I didn't think was possible at Goodwill. Uh, and I picked up this picture and you will see why I got it. It is perfect for a farmhouse theme. I think it will look fabulous at, uh, sitting in the middle of a table with some really, really pretty sunflowers sticking out of the top. And then I've kind of slowly been turning over from plastic storage containers to glass. And for 99 cents, I picked up this huge latch closure contain storage container. And it's pretty yucky. There's a lot of sticky stuff on it, but that's not a big deal. I'll clean that right up. And uh, I've been getting them at Ikea when I do make a road trip to Ikea, but I know I can't find a jar this size from Ikea for 99 cents, so I picked that up. Then I went to another thrift store, spent a total of $4.25. And I'm planning on starting an herb garden inside my house. I have started with basil, my daughter and I have been using it like crazy lately. And I picked up this long uh, container. I think it's for a single stemmed rose, but I'm gonna try and use it to plant the various herbs in because that way I can see their, through here I can see their root system and see how they're making out if maybe they need to be taken out, you know, and the roots kind of trimmed a little bit, but it was only 25 cents. So hopefully if it will work and if it doesn't, like I said, it was 25 cents. Uh, then I picked up these really quirky old glasses. They look like something Ben Franklin would wear. And I don't think there's any, I think they're just plain old glass, but that's what they look like on me. And uh, I thought they're quirky enough that I would get them and uh, try and resell them. And I got this adorable little blonde haired graduate and she is a left in piece, if you can make that out. And uh, she, I am going to try and resell her. She doesn't have a chip or a nick on her. I'm not sure she's gonna go for a whole lot, but she's really sweet. And then I had heard that vintage office um, supplies can be resold. So I thought I would give it a try and I picked up this Aero stapler and you can see it needs a little bit of work on it to get some of the kind of grody stuff off but it's in perfect working condition picked up this as well as a box vintage box of Aero staples for it so I'm gonna put them together I'm gonna clean the stapler up first of course and then put them together and sell them kind of as a pair then I hit up uh, two church yard sales yesterday one of them I'm just gonna say simply was horrible and very disappointing. The other one was pretty good. And it turns out that uh, my friend Rhonda, hi Rhonda, and I had been to the same church sale last year when they had it. So everything I'm gonna show you, I think I spent eight or nine dollars on and then I gave a donation additionally to the church. Um, it was, they were all cash sales. And then they had a free box on the way 
out of the sale and I'll show you what I picked up for free. Now this is a hanging planter, almost like a macrame piece, except it's not macrame. It looks like it's some kind of twine or roping. Um, this was only 50 cents, so I had to pick that up because they say macrame is coming back. Uh, let me see, those were free. This was free. Oh, I picked up these kitchen shears uh, for $2. I thought they would be really neat and easy for cutting um, spices and you know cilantro, which I love, and that sort of thing, so I picked those up. And then I picked up, this is brand new. It's a Wilton a donut mold. And uh, I'm going to try and make some vegan donuts in this. I've been wanting to try them for a while now, try and make my own. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I thought it was pretty good, $3 for brand new. If they, they had another one, and if they have the other one next week, next Saturday, uh, the church is having half price on everything that's left over. If it happens to be left over, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the other one for a buck fifty. Then I picked up, this was actually together, it's a light, pretty light pink sea glass and then these glass, just round spheres. They're kind of blue and gray, depends on how the light hits them. And these were both together in one bag, picked those up. This is really, really cool. This is a 1971 Let's see, it's a Betty, oh, hold on here. It is a Betty Crocker Recipe Card Library. Look at that, isn't that the coolest thing? It has got a ton of recipes in here and the little book, an index library uh, booklet that came with it. And it is in this whoop, yellow container, very vibrant. I fell in love with this and uh, there's probably nothing in here that I can make because from 1971, I doubt there are a whole lot of vegans running around. So I am going to resell this, or let's try to resell this. Um, that is it for what I paid for. But then, like I said, on the way out, they had a free box. I picked up, it's just a, a salt shaker. Uh, there was only one of them in there. But this I could use as a topper for something in crafting. I'm not sure what. Uh, got this little tea towel here. I really liked the print on it. I didn't look all that closely when I was picking it out of the box, and you can see it does have a hole there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Then they had just a little bundle of twine, picked that up for crafting, and then this is just a piece of wrapping paper, but I really liked the vintage kind of looking maps that were on it. So I think I am going to use this underneath of the large uh, counter saver that I have that is glass with the little feet on it and decoupage that on the bottom of that piece. And I think it'll look really cool. So it's going to be a while until I can do that because that's going to be down in Florida. But once I'm finished, I will show it to you. That's it, guys. It was short and sweet. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. And I'm going to have to say my favorite piece, I think, was the Betty Crocker recipe file. Uh, it's just so cool. I've never seen anything like that. But, you know, I'm not a real big cooker or a baker. But I thought that was a really cool uh, piece of history to pick up. Um, that's it. Let me know what your favorite piece was, and if you uh, are new to my channel and you like hauls and home decoration and collaborations and challenges and home decor, that's what I do here on A Work in Progress, and I would love to have you up as a new subscriber. And to those of you who are already subscribed, as always, I thank you very, very much for that. I really do appreciate it. That's it for now, guys. Take very good care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Okay? Bye for now.